All right, a few tips and tricks with the laser engraver. So once you've kind of gone over the basic video, I just want to show you a few more options you have. So if I click on a new project, again, I've already gone over um, what this grid and everything looks like. Now I want to show you if you're actually connected to the machine. So here you can see an actual picture. It has a quick live view of whatever you're gonna be working on. So here I have a little dog bone, all right? A little aluminum dog bone uh, name tag. But there's a few things I want you to understand. This by default is set up to measure everything in millimeters. So that grid that you did see is all um, metric. So if you go up to the X here in the left hand corner and you click on settings, you can switch from millimeters to inches. And then uh, there's some other settings here, but you are just gonna leave those just the way they are. Now if I close that, the difference that just made was if I make a rectangle, for example, on here. All right, this rectangle, if you look up here in the left-hand corner, it now is telling you how many inches the length and width and height of that rectangle. So you'll notice the numbers here. If I rotate it, they will change because I just changed the width from rotating it. Um, so that's how you can tell if it's on inches. So that way if you measure, even if you don't have this preview, you can't actually see an image of what you're going to be engraving. You can measure it first and then make sure that everything you're making will then fit on whatever you're going to be engraving. So for example, if you knew you were doing a 5 by 7 inch wooden box, then you would know that, okay, this three by six and a half would fit on the top of the box. You can also zoom in by doing command and plus. You can zoom in on here and then again you can use this hand to to move around. All right so command and plus you can zoom in quite far to do detailed small work. So if I just was working within this box here, this rectangle I made earlier, all right all my work can be within here. You can zoom in even farther. Uh, if I'm going to do any text, yes, when I first type that text, it's going to be very, very large. Okay. But remember, you can take any of this text or whatever you're working on and you can resize it to fit within here. And the laser is able to do quite small, detailed work. So if I zoom in even more, and I get this, zoom in even more. All right, you can do a lot of detailed work in a small area that might be too big to see from zoomed out view. So again, size is here, all right, and you can do it in inches, or you can do it, leave it by default by metric, all right. Just some tips I wanted to show you. The last is with some of your settings, the one thing I wanted to show using this dog tag is if I said, oh, if I went up to my material up here and said, oh, it's, it's anodized aluminum, which is what it is. And if I wanted to, for example, take this little hello I just wrote, and I wanted to take that and place it on my dog tag to engrave it. Let me zoom in because it's actually too small here. So let me make it a little bit bigger. All right, if I were to engrave this right now, it would not work. It would not work. All right, and the reason why isn't because you've done anything wrong other than, I don't know if you can tell in this picture, but to see this dog bone easier, I have it up on a piece of wood that's helping hold it in place because otherwise it's so light it'll move around. This is a three millimeter thick piece of wood. So when I go to do this, the machine doesn't know it's sitting on this piece of wood. So I have to go up here to the thickness and I got to say, well, this is a three millimeter thick piece of wood, a one millimeter thick um, dog tag. So that is a four millimeter thick object. If you don't do that, it's going to um, hit, the laser will actually hit this dog tag and it will mess up your, your, your cut. So um, just to let you be aware that it does matter, uh, some of the settings, but of course your teacher will help you with that. Okay. 
So that was just meant to be some quick tips, how you can change it to inches, how you have to do some settings to uh, have the correct heights, and how you can zoom in to a specific area and work in a small area for your um, project.